Deep Seek R1 is here. Performance on par with OpenAI O1, full open source model and technical paper included. MIT license can be used commercially for free. You can access this now via its API and also chat interface. A open source reasoning model beating closed source reasoning model on various benchmarks. In AI ME 2024, DeepSeek R1 beats OpenAI O1. Even in Math 500 and SWE Bench Verified, this is better than O1 model. It also includes open source distal models, that is smaller models, which can perform better and available for free for us to use. So these are reasoning models, fine-tuned specifically, so we can run this locally on our computer. It uses only reinforcement learning in post-training, significant performance boost with minimal labeled data, math, code, and reasoning task on par with OpenAI O1. The cost is also very cheap compared to O1 model. You can see for O1 model is $15 for 1 million input tokens and $60 for 1 million output tokens. This is just 55 pence for input tokens and $2 approximately for 1 million output tokens. That is very cheap. And also it's cheaper than Claude. Here is the comparison with the O1 model and how cheap this DeepSeek R1 is. They released two main models. One is DeepSeek R10 and DeepSeek R1. DeepSeek R10 is the base model without any fine tuning. DeepSeek R1 is with fine tuning. So if you want to train it from scratch, then you can use DeepSeek R10. Directly applying reinforcement learning to the base model without relying on supervised fine tuning. Training for chain of thought processing. It demonstrates capabilities such as self verification, reflection, generating long chain of thoughts. They also introduced a pipeline to develop models such as DeepSeek R1. That is really nice. And you got the code right in GitHub. They have released six distal version of the model. So they took Quen 1.5, 7B, Llama 8B, Llama 70B. This is by using samples generated by DeepSeek R1. And these small models also performing really well. That is really nice. And now we are going to test this model. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. You are able to run this model locally using VLLM serve. Probably soon the 32 billion parameter model will be available in Olama. So you can directly download from Olama to run it locally for free. I'm going to use DeepSeek chat to test this model. First testing it's on its programming ability, Python very hard challenge, regular expression matching. Asking the large language model to generate based on this requirement. So just copying the instruction and asking the large language model here. Now first it's going through th thinking process. You can see all the steps and now it's taking some time. And here is the answer after a minute of thinking. So just copying the response and I'm going to test it here. That is a pass. Next Python expert level challenge, Josephus permutation. Copying the instruction, it's asking the large language model to generate Josephus permutation function. Asking the large language model here. I got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a pass. Let's try some other programming language such as JavaScript, expert level challenge, the fiscal code. Copying the instruction in JavaScript. Also, they're expecting output to be in this structure. So copying that instruction, pasting it here, and then clicking enter. It's now taking more than a minute to generate the response. It's trying to check for every single possibility. Finally, now it's generating me the code after like three minutes. So just copying the code and testing it here. That is a pass. Really nice. C sharp expert level challenge. Three sum problem. Copying the instruction in C sharp and the output in this format and then clicking enter. I got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a pass, brilliant. One of the best model I can see. Now we're going to test logical and reasoning. Give me 10 lines ending with Apple. That is brilliant. So all these lines end with Apple, nice. How many R's in the word strawberry? Three R's, that is brilliant, that is correct. Most of other models will fail in this. Now misguided attention test. Imagine a runway trolley is hurtling down a track towards five dead people. So there are five dead people on one side. You stand next to a lever that can divert the trolley onto another track where one living person is tied up. On another track, one living person is tied up. Do you pull the lever? 
Just clicking enter. No, you should not pull the lever as doing so would actively cause death of a living person without preventing any additional loss of life. That is correct because the five people are already dead. Most of all the previous model failed in this test and this is really good. And I'm going to definitely try this to develop my own application and on a day to day working basis because the cost is also cheaper. You can also use it for free in this chat interface. So definitely worth a try. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like DeepSeek R1, it's definitely worth watching another test which I did for O1 model, which I'll put that link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I'll see you there.